Okay, guys, welcome to the channel again. I know it's been a while, um, but welcome to 24K Lorcana. Um, I'm here to bring you guys a deck profile, my favorite deck uh, combination, Amber Ruby. Um, I know I didn't get to do some videos in the last like two to three weeks, but honestly, it was I was kind of preparing for the 5K and then it was uh, the format was kind of like a lot of people were over it. There was not really new content for me to give you guys anyway. So I decided to just wait until I get the new cards and then update you guys on the profiles that I currently have. Um, so I'm going to be doing the Amber Ruby. I'm also going to be working on a pirate deck that I really think is really good. I think I'm going to be building that and then uh, an upgraded uh, purple red. But um, this is my favorite deck. Um, I went to a tournament yesterday. Um, it was a box tournament. I went three wins, one loss. Uh, my loss was to Hyper Aggro. This deck just loses to Hyper Aggro. Like you can't really do anything about like, you know, quest for three and then, then bounce their characters back, ready their characters. You just, this deck can't really handle that. Um, I did went to a game three with it though, but um, I still lost. Um, and all my other games, um, I 2 would so that was pretty good. Um, so let me show you guys the packages and what I have going on here. Okay, so for the shift targets that I have, I have the brand new uh, Pluto card here. This card is really good. Uh, you don't need it. You don't uh, turn it sideways until you absolutely need to. So you can either protect it uh, until you have your shift target or until you actually need to ramp it. Uh, you don't care if it goes away and it dies because sometimes it's just worth getting that uh, earlier uh, turn character, like a turn uh, six, seven uh, drop character uh, on turn five or a turn five character on turn four or three. So I play the four Pluto. And then I do play the shift target Pluto. So this is a new card. Um, it's really good. It's a three eight. It gives you a lot of room to heal for Rapunzel. And it also heals itself for up to three damage on your turn. So if they don't get rid, they have to get rid of it in one go. So it puts a lot of pressure. Also, if they ignore the little Pluto, um, this, you can just shift it on turn, not just five. It's a shift five, but because you have Pluto, you can just use it. And then now you can shift this on turn four. Um, you won't be able to quest with it that turn, but it's still really good play that you can do. So those are the cards I play. My other shift target, I still play the Rockstar package. So I play the four stitch and then I play the Rockstar. I still think Rockstar alone as a card is really good, but because you do play a good amount of one drops and two drops, um, it's still really worth playing. Uh, and, it, and obviously putting a stitch down puts a lot of pressure on the Rockstar package for your opponent. So. I play the eight one drops and then I play the four target, the, the four Plutus four shift. Now for my um, drop package, I do play the Gothos. So I play the four Gothos here. Um, comes out as three, you bring this Rapunzel and then you heal it, you draw three. You guys know how this works. This is always gonna be a staple. This is one of the reasons you play this deck because you get to turn, you get to drop three and you get to have a two drop that's a three, four. So that's just a really good play. You can play the Gotho if you're not if you know they don't play steel or, or no ping damage. You can just play the Gotho on itself, or you could just wait and play until you have a six drop sixteen play and play both at the same time. But that is that draw package. I also play uh, the two surfer stitch. A lot of people play four and never comes up. Sometimes I be inking the one I do be drawing from one of these, but um, it's still nice to when it does. Uh, it's still nice to have in your deck, but it's still only a two. I think it's a two. That is the draw package. Now I want to show you guys my, uh, this is more of just tech cards and then just cards that are just good to have in your deck in general. Um, Pongo, this it's only a one of, and it's only going to come up in grindy matchups where you have a lot of ink developed or in an Amber Ruby mirror. And then it's just about that. It can come down to you paying that to ink and revealing the top part of your deck. If it's a character, you add it to your hand. So it's a really good card to have. I wouldn't play more because it is a little bit slow because if you're paying two ink to get that card in your hand, maybe you won't have enough ink to play that card. So it is more for like a grindy matchup and it is still really good to have as a one of the, it's still testing. I like it a lot um, so far as a one of. I play the two Surfer Mini. I know some people I've seen like a build, I think Moyen's build plays like four of this and then four Pascal Reds to the dog and then he just goes evasive build. You can do that. Um, I think this deck is really fast and you can doesn't really care to be challenged and you usually have um, payback if you challenge back. So I don't think you need four. I found myself inking this a lot in testing on Pixelborn and in tournaments. 
Uh, a new addition is the Piglet. This card is insane. It's also a target for a Rockstar, and it's also a target for another card that I'm going to show you guys in a bit. But this on curve is insane. Uh, shout out to Caesar, by the way. Uh, one of my friends, he kind of... I, I was playing the two-drop Simba, the one that quests for three. And this is just a better card because it's inkable and it's on curve. It's just nice. So turn one, you play your Pluto Stitch. Turn two, you play Piglet. Turn three, you play Doc or whatever other character you want to play. Surfer, it doesn't matter. Naturally, this just already got two plus. So then you quest with three. And if they get rid of it, then they get rid of it. Like, um, there's other ways There's other ways to bring it back. But it's just a really good two drop to have. You play uh, the Doc. Now you have four Plutos, four Doc, which is why you don't play Lantern. I know I was a big advocate on my other video on Lantern. But we didn't have Pluto. So we have eight ways to ramp now, and I just think uh, to play cheaper characters, and I think that's just really good. You still play four Doc, still a really good card. Obviously, you play the big old Mufasa boy. Um, you're playing a character deck. Um, it's still, you have a lot of good targets that come out. Um, it's very rare that it brings out something that you don't want it to bring. Even like a Rapunzel, right? It's still a 1-6 character quest for two. It still replaces itself really well. So this is just a good card. Obviously, you guys know what happens when you guys bring out. This brings out a Ruby character. That's pretty scary. Um, I play Perdita. It's insane. This card is really good. It brings out any of the little ones. It brings out any two-cost character. I usually bring back Piglet. But I also have this one other card that I really love to bring out with him. Uh, this 3-1 Rush Stitch. So it puts a lot of pressure because I can go Perdita Stitch and then it trades. And then next turn, if I quest, it brings out Stitch again and then it can trade again. Like, it's really good. This is why I play that Stitch, but I'll show you guys that package in a bit. Um, also, when you're just trying to close out the games, you bring out back Piglet and you usually have more characters. So it's going to quest for two. This card is just really good. If you have a Rockstar Stitch in your hand, you bring out the little one. You have a shift target. Same with Pluto. It's just a really good card to have. And then my other tech card that I chose to play, I chose to play one uh, Chernobog. I had two, but I'm trying to work on my Uninkable count here. Um, it's really good. Um, I've been able to play this for zero before. I've been able to play this for four. I've been able to bring this out of Mufasa. Um, this card is just insane. You play a lot of little ones. So mid game, as long as you don't open it in your opening hand, opening it mid game, this is gonna be more of like a six, five, seven cost character. Um, the most I ever paid with this, I think, is six ink ever. So, one turn of bog. It's really good. You could play two, and I don't blame you as long as you fix your uninkables. But the way my uninkables are, you're going to see my Ruby removal package. Why I kind of have to, like, just kind of only play the one of. But it's good. Also, Perdita is also an uninkable, though. All right. My Ruby package removal. So, this is kind of what I do to, like, control the game if it's not going my way or if I have to handle something on their board. I play the Stitch. 3-1, Rush. Uh, it's really good. It's really underrated. I caught a lot of people off guard with it yesterday. Um, them doing their singer aerials or the queen uh, shifted too. Like this trades with it really well. It trades up a lot. And then bring him ba back with Perdita. Because now they have to deal with Perdita. Because if not, this is going to be co coming out every turn as a Rush character. It's really good. Really recommend it, guys. It's nice. It's nice to have. Also, it doesn't have reckless, so it can just be questing on on its own. So you don't need to like they can you can they're gonna have to deal with it eventually. Rockstar Stitch an extra target too. So now you have six targets for it. Um, I play the two Prince Eric's. This card was so good. I was able to like play the Mary yesterday, and I was able to like hit a piglet. They trade, and then Prince Eric the effect a dragon fire or something. So what do you, it's a surprise maneuver, but what it does is just a dragon fire. Whenever this is banished. You banish your chosen character. So you can get really, really nice trades with this. Or you can just sacrifice yourself or this quest for two. So if they want to go ahead and challenge it, go ahead. Just know one of yours is coming with it. And I get to pick. So Prince Eric is insane. Two of. I play the three, uh, six uninkable one drops. So I play the one of each of the sixes. Um... It was not intentional. It was kind of just kind of how it played out. Uh, but it was a one Tremaine, one Hydra, one Madame. You can play four of these, none of these. You can play four of these, none of these. You can play four of these, none of these. You can do two, two, two. You can do whatever you want with these. 
Um, I would recommend having one of any uh, uh, these in your deck, at least, though, for sure. Um, uh, the way I kind of want to lean with it, I'm leaning towards cutting Tremaine, and I really want to add another Hydra and another Madame, so maybe just play off two and two, um, and then two Eric, and not play the Tremaine. Uh, this is really good. This outs Sad Boy. This outs Ursula. This outs um, a Pluto. Anything with three or less strength, you get to just Dragon Fire. And it's a character, and it's another thing you can bring out with Mufasa. Tremaine is Tremaine. You guys know what it does. Hydra is insane. Hydra, you get some. You get to challenge a character. This is going to take damage, and then you get to deal that damage wherever you would like on an opposing character. So, for example, I'm going to go ahead and swing into Sad Boy. Now, Sad Boy is gone. I take three because Hydra took three. You deal that on another character, you most likely have another trade. Another way. For example, I'm swinging at this Pluto. I deal six because Pluto dealt three to me. I am going to go ahead and deal that three back to Pluto, and now I can get rid of Pluto. So it's a really good card. It's a really good card to have. I would consider playing two and two and not play this one, guys. I'm just showing you guys what I played that day of, but Tremaine can be cut. But it's still a good card to have with Mufasa. I don't blame you guys if you guys chose to play this. But that's my uh, 666, uh, one of each on that one. I play four Mauis. I am not, not gonna play four Mauis. You cannot not afford to play four Mauis in this deck. Uh, you need the rush sometimes. You need to sometimes handle aggro. You need a... Uh, you need to handle locations sometimes really quick. This deal six. Um, you need four in this deck no matter what. So I play for Maui. The best card to bring out of Mufasa it is a Maleficent Dragon. I still play four. I'm always going to play four. Um, it's really good. You can actually uh, bring it out by like turn seven if you have a Pluto or Dot going on. Um, you can get there in grinding matchups and it's just... But it's usually a Mufasa target or Eek, I'm not going to lie, for the most part. And I chose to play to be prepared. Why do I play be prepared in this deck? Because people think I don't play it. And that's why I play it. Because people be like, oh, well, I can just go wider than him and I'm going to win the race. Or oh, if I just like, he doesn't play be prepared, so like they don't play around it. Because you have Pluto now, you have an easier way to access a singing of be prepared. It's really worth playing over the dragon fires. I was a big advocate of dragon fires over this, but because you're able to sing it and you can possibly do it on turn five, it's really good. And sometimes you're just resetting the board after you Rapunzel draw the previous turn or whatever, then you're probably just going to win the game anyway off just card resource. But it's a good card to have. You can sing it, you can play it. Um, if you for some reason they break your board, you just play this and then you go start all over and then you're fine. I think two prepared is really good. Um, I wouldn't play more than two. Two is just the right number. But I also, so far, in testing, wouldn't get this card. But that was my uh, deck profile, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys leave a like. And then I can't wait to give you guys more videos. I really can't wait to show you guys the prior video that I got cooking going on. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Try it out. Trust me. It's really good. It can go really fast. It can go mid-range. It can go control. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you.